Good morning, 530 here on your Tuesday, September 18th, 2012. In the news here today, that section of State Route 68 in the town of Canton closed because of a fuel spill yesterday has been reopened. Ogdensburg officials hire a new city manager. And the owner of the former Masonic Temple in Watertown is in a race against time to keep the building from being condemned. And the clouds have rolled in. We're going to get some rain showers and windy conditions for today. Welcome home to the North Country's finest. You're watching 7 News This Morning with Jeff Cole and Beth Hall. And good morning to you. We have some rain to talk about. Beth is in with details. We go to the wind. News 10 at 11. A scary dog attack sends a little girl to the hospital. More dog drama, a neighborhood fight about a neighbor's pit bulls. And football frenzy coverage from all around the capital region. Right now on News 10 at 11. And we begin tonight in all... Have you checked out News 10 ABC in the morning yet? You can see how fast the traffic is moving every 10 minutes on the 10th. See you weekday mornings, 5 to 7. It's all about her. Today. What do you have to say about the charges against you? I have no comment. The two people at the center of the prostitution investigation have their day in court. How long it could be before others are charged. I think I'm most upset at the lack of integrity. I trusted the bank. Some customers upset after the bank admits they lost some personal information. But that's not the only reason customers say they're mad. I'm tracking an active weather pattern with showers, some sun, and cool temps. Don't miss my forecast. I'll be back in a few minutes. Now your only news at 10 with Greg Lagerquist, Adrian Stein, and your weather authority forecast with Charlie Lepresti. This is News 13 on Fox 23. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. For News 13 on Fox, I'm Greg Lagerquist. I'm Adrian Stein. They face. A recap of the debates between New Hampshire's big candidates, Lamontane and Hassan, Ginta and Shea Porter, Bass and Custer. A look at what the vice presidential candidates are saying in Kentucky during their one and only debate. Unemployment claims take a dramatic dip, but not because of a hiring frenzy. And a voter ID law upheld in South Carolina could have implications in other states. The news at 10 on WBIN starts right now. Kenzie Henderson in for Amanda tonight. Thanks for watching the news at 10 on WBIN. It's debate. Your top stories of the day, your complete forecast, all in the first eight minutes. News 8 at 6 starts right now. A judge is refusing to keep the names of alleged clients confidential in the case of a former Zumba instructor charged. And now, your first winning weather. Here's News 8 meteorologist Roger Griswold. I talk a lot about hurricanes and the frequency of tropical. Live with coverage you trust. This is NBC 10 News at Noon. New development in the search. News 13, your main source for news. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight for News 13 at 11. I'm Jana Barnello. 11 years ago. And now, from New England's news station, this is... Sunday. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jackie Bruno. Tom Brady captures another. Now on Fox 23 News at 10. Man shot. Crime tape lines Schenectady Street while detectives investigate the case of a man shot multiple times in broad daylight. No deal. A man charged in a deadly home explosion rejects a plea deal. Now he could be heading to trial. And jobs report, for the first time since President Obama took office, the unemployment rate is below 8%. Why Mitt Romney says the numbers are misleading. The 10 o'clock news. Fox 23 News at 10 starts right now. Good evening to you. I'm John Gray. and is off tonight. First on Fox, we have a suspect in custody. Now at 6, the leaves are turning just in time for the long holiday weekend. A look at some of the fall festivities.
Temperatures will be much cooler compared to yesterday, and tonight we'll have enough snow in the mountains. How will things shape up for your Columbus Day? A local firefighter honored almost one year after his death. How firefighters across the nation are coming together to remember the fallen. And a little girl with just one month to live. How the community is coming together for her and her family. No one covers New Hampshire like we do in high definition. Now, WMUR News 9 at 6. Well, the fall colors are showing across the state and now... The temperatures match. Good evening, New Hampshire. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melinda Davenport. It's certainly WBIN 18. You're watching WCSH 6 Portland. More people get their news from WCSH News Center 6 than from any other local news source. From News Center, this is the Early Morning Report. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jackie Ward. Today is Monday, October 8th. This is News Center's Morning Report. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sharon Rose. And good morning. I'm Jackie Ward. Coming up... You're watching Good Day Maine on Fox 23. All right, it's 801 in Good Day Maine on this Wednesday morning. It is October is for foe coming weekend. Preparing soldiers for the worst. Plus, could Belleville put a stop to this? This is Newswatch at 11 with Melissa Duggan. Good evening. A system of emergency alarms. No Stereo country music place on your FM radio dial. KZLA FM 94. They offer more continuous, uninterrupted country music, and it's in stereo. KZLA plays all your favorite country songs back-to-back, -back, not less than three in a row, without a lot of news, commercials, or chatter. Try KZLA FM 94 for the most country music with the fewest interruptions. Make it your stereo country music station. KZLA FM 94. ABC, you got Ken and Bob to start your day. Dodger baseball, play by play. Michael Jackson, Tony Grant on call. Sports talks on the ball for you. Carol's got it all for you. I love winding up. Ray Breen winding down. 79. Yeah, that's where we shine. We are yours. KABC, do a connection. Beginning this coming week on AM, actor Chuck Norris talks about his role in the upcoming movie, Silent Rage. And we'll give you a sneak preview of those sexy calendar men from USC. Plus, actor Dennis Weaver joins us to talk about his new singing career. And we'll go live to the set of The Greatest American Hero to talk with actor William Capp. Also, General Hospital Demi Moore talks about her role as Luke's new love interest. And you won't want to miss the crazy humor of comedian Rip Taylor. All this and more beginning Monday at 9 on 7. Monday at 3.30, when a client and an art dealer sue each other, Judge Wapner has to draw the line. I received a call from the Glendale Police Department telling me I was guilty of petty theft. He took work that we had completed out of the store. He threatened one of our employees. In the police report that you said you would They lied in the police report. I'd like to address that. She the said she... The police lied? It's all a question about the fine art of getting framed in a brand new episode of The People's Court, Monday at 3.30 on Channel 7. If you're confused about an IRA account, you're not alone. With so many plans to choose from, how do you decide what's best for your financial situation? Join Jerry Dunphy for some straight talk about IRA accounts. Then we set sail for the Caribbean and take you on a first-class trip to paradise. We'll show you some incredible places to stay as we explore the fabulous Caribbean. Two special reports starting Monday at 11, only on Channel 7. On the next Omni, a special look at today's robots. Omnivac is the first of a new breed. Metal marbles made in our own image. My golly, you'd have the biggest toy in the world. What science fiction writer Isaac Asimov predicts. Robots will be self-aware. And what the inventor of the most advanced robot may fear. I hope it will not think better than I can. Robot, friend or foe, on the next Omni, the new frontier. Remember?
Yes, I'm Shannon Horry. And I'm Antonio Mora. CBS 4 News at 5 starts right now. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. We begin with breaking news right now at five. Just minutes ago, a nearly five hour search for a missing Alzheimer's patient and her grandchild came to an end. The two great. <laughs> You're watching CBS 4 News at five, covering Shorecrest, Pinewood Park, Margate, and your South Florida neighborhood. We'll be right back. It's a race for the White House like none other before. One that our state could play a pivotal role in deciding. Florida is a key battleground state. What you help decide could greatly influence voters in other states. From the candidates to the primaries to the big local issues like property taxes. There might be more at stake than just how much money you're going to save on your taxes. We'll bring you everything you need to know to make your best choice. Campaign 2008. For continuing coverage, stay with CBS 4 News. Floridian. You're watching CBS 4 News at 5 with Shannon Horry, Antonio Mora, Chief Meteorologist David Bernard, Hurricane Expert Brian Norcross, and Jim Berry with Sports. Wall Street started the week on a positive note despite another negative report. You might recognize the guy sitting right here next to me. We are so happy to have Antonio Mora here as the newest member of the CBS 4 News team. I am team. so happy to be here. Thanks for the welcome. Well, we know that you have long ties with South Florida, mm -hmm. and I... Accurate, dependable, CBS 4 weather, you can count on it. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. A family gets ready to bury a loved one, a man who'd spent his life working to save the lives of others battling addiction. Richard Entrickin was shot during a robbery over the weekend outside a... Thank you, doctor. That's going to do it for CBS 4 News at 5. CBS 4 News at 6 with Shannon Horry and Antonio Mora starts right now. From Miami Day, Broward in the Keys, this is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Good evening. The eyes of the nation turn to South Florida. The polls open in just over 12 hours. But at Gordon's. Be the first to know. 7 News. First at 4. Live from the news station. This is 7 News. First at 4. First to four o'clock, one man's award-winning behavior really paying off this Monday. Good afternoon, everybody. He found himself in the middle of a dangerous situation after a Broward sheriff was shot. But he stayed calm and helped police catch the accused killer. And today, he reaped the rewards for his bravery. So Tyson's troubles landing him behind bars. And Nicole Kidman also in front of a judge. Seven's Louis Aguirre live with Deco Dayside. Dayside. All right, well, today Mike Tyson got the final word from a judge concerning a single count of a felony of cocaine possession. Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 4.30. Now at 4.30, a 7 News exclusive. A car pulled from the canal after a wild weekend crash. And today, a teen is truly lucky to be alive. In fact, doctors are crediting the victim's age as one of the reasons that he survived. The other big... Stevens. I'm Balky's Nuray. 7 News continues now here at 5. Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 5. A suspected cop killer caught, but who should get the award for turning him in? Ten Local 10, South Florida's most watched newscast at 6. NBC6 is giving away two tickets to Hannah Montana. Find out how you can get them at 11 p.m. NBC6 wants to tell you about a place where you get paid for all your purchases. Electronics, clothing, music, the biggest brand names. South Florida Tonight at 11 on NBC6. Hi, Pam. What do we have for our viewers tomorrow? Well, top stories from here in South Florida and around the world. And, of course, after every break, your live team traffic reports and weather. That's right. Weather plus forecasts. Fairly warm, but maybe some showers by the holiday.
Next on CBS 4 News at 10, police release new information into Sean Taylor's murder. We're live with what investigators are now saying about the crime. Deputies killed a horrible scene as two Palm Beach County deputies are killed in the line of duty by one of their own. I'm Terry Cott, live in Plantation. Tonight, a story of a minister, an underage girl, and allegations of sex. The disturbing details straight ahead. Plus, it's greasy and full of fat, but could bacon be good for your heart? Hmm. Good evening, I'm Shannon Horry. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez, in for Erica Von Teel. The news starts right now. From Miami-Dade, Broward and the Keys, this is CBS 4 News on My 33. We're uh, going to pull out all stops uh, in order. And now, NBC6 South Florida Nightly News. A global domino effect now affecting a staple at dinner tables right here in South Florida. The soaring cost of food is forcing some stores to place rice restrictions on its customers. But it's not because there's a short. The following is a rebroadcast of 7 News at 10, seen earlier this evening. Next, from South Florida's night team, a tropical wave could bring a mixed bag of rain or shine this weekend. A home evacuated and residents inside lucky to be alive. And it's all because of a silent killer. The night team on the scene, burning wild and growing bigger. And for the murder of Jessica Marie Lunsford, this court sentences you, John Evander Cooey, to death. He kidnapped, raped, and murdered a little girl. Now tonight, a judge has spoken, and the night team is live. The newsplex flooded all day with phone calls regarding Fidel Castro. We have the night's new information, and we are live. The NFL coming down hard on Michael Vick after he makes an admission in court. And I would like her to know how very sorry I am about having frightened her in any way. An apology from a former astronaut as she comes face to face with her romantic rival in court. The Windy City living up to its name, and then some. David Beckham getting feisty on the field. And whether you want action or laughs, we've got your sneak peek at what's hitting theaters. Hey everybody, I'm Balkis Nure. I'm Craig Stevens, all this and more, first at 10. <laughs> Live from the news station, this is 7 News at 10. Rain or shine, that's the big question for South Florida tonight, and it's all because of yet another tropical wave. My team camera is in downtown Miami. A look at the magic city on one balmy summer evening. The tropical wave that's out there, it is where we begin right off the top at 10 o'clock. Hello again, everyone. You may be seeing some lightning out there tonight. And this is WCBD-TV, Charleston. Now, from the heart of the South Carolina Lowcountry, this is TV2 Eyewitness News, live at 6. Good evening, Dave Stanley is off tonight. I'm Jill Franco. Wheelchair athlete Manny Marshall will be spending the rest of her life in a Florida jail. I would and she'll be right back with the weather when we return. Great weekend. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Good night. Associated Press, the international news service, has named TV2 Eyewitness News South Carolina's best news. TV2 Eyewitness News, building a news tradition in the low country. This is a WCBD TV2 editorial. All of us from time to time receive offers in the mail and door-to-door -door salesmen knock at our doors, offering us the deals of a lifetime. Many of us are tired of being ripped off by door-to-door -door salesmen or finding local businesses that treat consumers unfairly. Most times, responsible citizens wishing to express an opposing viewpoint should contact the WCBD-TV editorial staff. WCBD-TV2, Charleston. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. Benny Goodman is dead. There is a great deal to say about this quintessential American jazz musician. And B. Jeopardy, 7.30 p.m. weeknights.
This is WCBD-TV, Charleston. Now, from the heart of the South Carolina Lowcountry, this is TV2 Eyewitness News, the Weekend Report. Hello and a very pleasant good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Christopher. Here's what's happening in Charleston at 6 o'clock. This is WCBD-TV, Charleston. Now, from the heart of the South Carolina Lowcountry, this is TV2 Eyewitness News Tonight, The Weekend Report. Hello and a very pleasant good evening, everyone. I'm Dave Christopher. And I'm Russ Ensley with Sports. Here's what's happening in Charleston at 11 o'clock. Members... Mark Morgan has the latest in the U.S. Open highlights. Stay right where you are. Joan Harrell, thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night. News you can trust from people you know. You can count on Live 5 News. Did you ever find... From the nation's capital. WJLA-TV Channel 7 brings you comprehensive coverage of the day's events. News 7 at 5. Good evening, everyone. At this hour, crews have rushed to Dulles Airport, where a small twin-engine plane crashed. Fun promises, but can they deliver results? I'll have part three of my investigative report into instant credit companies. And coming up later in an exclusive interview, Dexter Manley talks about why the NFL is investigating him. I'm an attorney looking at some scenes from the Democratic National Convention of 1968. You stay tuned. We'll hear from some people who were there. Hi. There's only one way to connect our supply of oil to the price we pay in the Persian Gulf. In one hour, every night. There's only one way to connect our food prices to the nation's farm crisis. In one hour, every night. Channel 7, 6 o'clock news hour. are back in Atlanta the night when we're going to absolutely know the nominee and everyone is going to say so now what does it mean have changed and hopefully for the better good night everyone I'm Renee Poussaint in Atlanta how does it feel to have spent millions of dollars in more than a year of your life trying to get a job and fail I'll take a look at how the almost presidential nominees are faring as the winner gets ready to take the spotlight coming up I'm Gail Pennybacher. Federal authorities in Alexandria say they may have foiled a Libyan-backed plot to assassinate an American high-level government official. I'll tell you more about that coming up. This is Frank Herzog at Redskins Training Camp in Carlisle. Dexter Manley is being investigated by the National Football League for substance abuse. We'll have reactions here from the Redskins, and Kevin Kiley will have the latest from Dexter Manley tonight on News 7. From WJLA-TV, Washington, D.C., the news continues. From the nation's capital, this is News 7 at 6. Good evening. I'm Dale Solly. And I'm Renee Poussaint in Atlanta. I'll have all the news from the Democratic Convention in just a few moments. But, Dale, I understand there's been word of a small plane crash at Dulles. That there has, Renee, and one... One soldier must fight two battles, one for his own survival and that of his children's. Don't cry, it's only thunder. Friday at 8 on Channel 2. Written in black ink. Investigators probing the background of the Stockton Elementary School gunman are making bizarre discoveries. 
And while most didn't, some Stockton parents brought their young kids back to school one day after the deadly shooting that left five youngsters dead. For others, today was a time to remember those children who will never return to school. And in Miami, there may finally be an end to the violence inside, although tonight was by no means quiet. We'll have those stories, all the news, on this Wednesday night, January 18, 1989. Live from Channel 2 and first in the Bay Area, this is the award-winning Teleblock News, the number one primetime newscast in the country. Good evening, I'm Elaine Corral. And I'm Dennis Richmond. Eleven of the injured students from yesterday's deadly shooting rampage at Stockton Elementary School are still in hospitals tonight, but I will have a report on the seeds of that violence, which has been growing in black neighborhoods for years. We'll be right back. All of us will be back here tomorrow evening at 10. Good night. Good night. Don't touch that remote. We've got lots of comedy in store for you, starting with Cheers, then check into the Stratford Inn with New Heart. Stay with us. It's all coming your way next. This is KOAT7, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now... Bill Sandifer, Trinette Ledford, Ed Lopez, and Joe Diaz with the area's number one news source, Action 7 News. Good evening, everyone. A storm system that swept southern New Mexico with near hurricane force winds is being amazing. I think it was only on three. Well, that's the late news for this Saturday night. We're happy you could be with us. I'm Bill Sandifer. And I'm Trinette Ledford. We'll be back tomorrow at 5.30 and 10 with more Action News. We hope you'll tune in. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night and stay warm. Due to the mature intense subject matter of A Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Nightmares, viewer discretion is advised. Now, Beverly Williams, KYW News 3 at 11, continues. In war-torn Bosnia, NATO peacekeeper... Si chiude la triste vicenda di Robert Baltovic, assolto dopo 18 anni. Con centinaia di alberi piantati, Toronto partecipa all'Earth Day. Gli uomini canadesi dormono meno, ma le donne dormono peggio. Buonasera e benvenuti dalla nostra redazione con due semplici parole. Not guilty, non colpevole. La... Searching for clues, tonight police combed the banks of the Thames after a human skull was found. He was trying to find more material and to get a better understanding of the context in which we found the skull. A drug trafficking investigation in Stratford nets more than a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of drugs. Some of it found just steps away from the police station. The Donnelly Massacre was a dark day for Luke, and so why is the community building a Donnelly Museum? Tonight, why residents say it's time to accept the tragedy as part of the town's history. I'm not one that wants to sensationalize it, but I think it's important that we tell the story right. Paul's making a little pad thai noodles for a taste for life. Show you how to do it because the money's going to the AIDS Committee of London. This is A Channel News at 6. Good evening. There was a heavy police presence along the Thames River in London today after a human... First tonight on Fox 11 News at 9, guardian angels look to protect the streets of Green Bay from an increase in gang activity. Today marks the second deadliest day in Iraq for U.S. troops since the war began. 16 soldiers dead, even more injured. And a deal is in the works when it comes to the fire department cuts in Green Bay, but that could mean additional cuts elsewhere. More local, more often. This is Fox 11 News at 9. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Leland. First on Fox 11 tonight, a controversial budget issue may be meet again during an anniversary celebration for the museum.
Breaking news. It happens anytime, anywhere, in all sizes of communities. Breaking news coverage from rural Brown County. Whether news breaks nationally, across the world, or right in your neighborhood, rely on the Fox 11 News Team to stay on the story. Breaking news. It's our top priority. Fox 11. More local. More often. Time to get the most out of Breaking news. It begins suddenly, unpredictably, wherever, whenever the news breaks. We're there. Fox 11 News. More local, more often. To report news, cellular phone users can contact the Fox 11 Newsroom by dialing Star TV 11. Fox 11 cellular service is provided by Cellcom. Clearly the best. You're watching Fox 11 News at 9. With Mark Leland. Doug Higgins with your Fox 11 forecast first. And Drew Smith, live from the Fox 11 Sports Center. This weekend marks the 10th anniversary of the whole... Now, the latest from the Fox 11 Sports Center. The NFC North has been the... More local. More often. This is Fox 11 News at 9. With Connie Fellman, Michael Chen, Kevin Uselman from Weather Lab HD, and Drew Smith from the Fox 11 Sports Center. This is Fox 11 News at 9. Some startling new numbers reveal a deadly deer disease could have a... CBS News in Washington. This is the CBS News Night Watch. And here is correspondent Fred Graham. Welcome back. Part of thanks. is Channel 13 Action News in High Definition with Steve Wolford and Trisha Keene. Weather First with meteorologist Brian Schofield. Action Sports with sports director Doug Kazarian. And breaking news from the Action News Hall. I couldn't sleep. Right now on City News at 5, your top stories. My fear is this will continue until he kills somebody. Attacked by a complete stranger. She asked me if she was going to die. She was bleeding a lot. How a good Samaritan stepped in after a vicious stabbing to save a life. It's ridiculous. Um, makes me just want to stay home. Gas prices ground Toronto. Well, we have work to do. There's no question about it. As tourism takes a big hit, the idea that could give us a holiday from taxes. I think this is going to help all families in Ontario. Do not want to do what some governments have gotten themselves into, and that is subsidizing job cuts today. No breaks from Big Brother. Why the Prime Minister says the provinces are on their own to deal with an ailing economy. Interlace your fingers and as fast and as hard as you can. It looks like we've got a pulse. City News is now a lifesaver. We stepped into the shoes of our city's paramedics and discovered just what it takes to be a hero. Good evening. We begin with the story of an innocent victim of a random attack. I spoke with... That's a wrap on this half hour. City News at 6 with Gordon Ann begins right now. Out of the newsroom, on the street, City News, everywhere. The following City TV program is available in high definition. My fear is this will continue until he kills somebody. Attacked by a complete stranger. She asked me if she was going to die. She was bleeding a lot. Oh, a good Samaritan stepped in after a vicious stabbing to save a life. I go through about $70 a day. 70? Yes. Gas prices ground Toronto. Makes me just want to stay home. Well, we have work to do. There's no question about it. As tourism takes a big hit, the idea that could give us a holiday from taxes. I think this is going to help all families in Ontario. Well, I knew something was wrong. My vision was not right. Risking your sight to save money. Your eyes are priceless and you should only get the best. What you need to know about laser eye surgery and the mistake that could put your vision in jeopardy. Cloudy and cool tomorrow morning, but warm air is on the doorstep. When it will get here, how warm it's going to get, and if it's going to last. Good evening. Three random attacks, including a vicious stabbing.
An emotionally disturbed man with a history of violence is charged with knifing a woman at a... This is News 8 at 11 with Pete Schulberg, Tracy Berry, meteorologist Jim Little with up-to-the-minute weather, and Scott Lynn with the latest in sports. Good evening. There were more than a few scary moments tonight as a fire burned out of control at a school bus storage depot. From Fox 49, KPDX, with complete local coverage of the day's top stories, this is Fox News at 10. Highway Patrol officers bring in hockey player Bobby Orr to help stop road rage. Okay, stand by everybody, here we go. See how a Hollywood director and an expert behind the wheel plan to stop the madness on the freeway. We'll have that story in just a moment. But first, our top story tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Reed Coleman. First, police found... Coming up next, dramatic new video on the murder of Mexican presidential candidate Luis Colosio. An assassin points a gun to Colosio's head and an amateur photographer gets it all on tape. Is a second gunman still at large? Also ahead, courtroom drama as Rodney King relives his brutal beating. Now he says the color of his skin provoked that attack. Did he convince the jury? Just how easy is it for a carjacker to get away with murder? The latest on the slayings of two Japanese students and the shockwaves it's sending all across the Pacific. Plus, Dr. Winnie King tells us how laser surgery may restore hope and sight for people with vision problems. Channel 2 News is next. Now you... This is Action News for all of Southern California with Bree Walker and Michael Tuck. Now, Channel 2 Action News Nightcast. Here you see them, dramatic new pictures of the assassination of Luis Donaldo Colosio. You can see the gun pointed at the Mexican presidential candidate just an instant before the fatal shots were fired. Good evening, everybody, and thanks very much for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Tuck. And I'm Trisha Toyota. Bree Walker has the night off. And those... From Montreal tonight, rough road trip. I'm just doing this for myself. An Ontario trucker gives medical care to his son on the road. Find out why he had to stop in Montreal. Metro attack. A 16-year-old is stabbed at the Vendôme station. We'll take you there live. A Canadian first. The cabinets of Quebec and Ontario meet and sign a deal on the environment. They just keep on coming. More clouds headed our way. Good evening. Our top story tonight is about a trucker who is going to great lengths to keep... I will be the Democratic nominee. I will be making no decisions tonight. It's not over yet, or is it? Barack Obama clinches the Democratic nomination, but Hillary Clinton isn't bowing out. Then, did you vote today? If you're saying what election, you are not alone. And wedding bells will be ringing, and so will cash registers. Same-sex marriage makes California happily ever after. Good evening, I'm Leela Feinstein. And I'm Emmett Miller. Barack Obama is claiming the Democratic nomination for president, making history as the first African-American to lead a major party ticket. Welcome to Regional Review, a look at the people, places, and events that made news in southeastern Ontario this week. Good evening. Here are... 